Scott Adam Schefter back from the owners meetings where we are all waiting on Roger Goodell's press conference. Schefter, apparently he's not on Tom Coughlin time, so to speak, as we've been waiting about 45 minutes for it to get started. Let's talk about the Packers in the meantime. How can they go about replacing Devontae Adams, who has a very legitimate argument as the best wide receiver in football over the past five years? Well, Field, you heard Matt LaFleur, the Packers head coach, say today that the Packers still have a legitimate need at the outside wide receiver position to bring in another playmaker. Now, keep in mind, the Packers do have double ones and double twos courtesy of the trade that they made with the Las Vegas Raiders for Devontae Adams. And this is a very deep wide receiver draft class in Green Bay should be able to get help there. However, there are veterans right now who are on the street. Jarvis Landry, Odell Beckham Jr., Julio Jones, who worked with Matt LaFleur in Atlanta before. So there are veteran wide receivers who are free agents who Green Bay could get for free just by signing them to the contract without having to compensate any other teams. Green Bay will be adding another receiver or two. Matt LaFleur made that perfectly clear today. We'll see which directions they decide to go as we continue to await the arrival of the NFL commissioner, Roger Goodell. Yeah, Chef, you may be on the 11 p.m. sports with an update from that at this rate. Thanks for joining us all day here on <laughs> NFL Live. <laughs> Thank you. Let's get back to Booger and Swagoo. And Swagoo, what do you make of how the Packers should go about trying to replace Devontae Adams? And I say try very purposely because I'm not sure you could actually <laughs> replace Devontae Adams. Yeah, it's tough to say you can after we've seen that level of production for a number of years, babyface. But I think when you, you – Green Bay has a lot of scenarios that they have to play in their mind. I know Boog is going to get to some of those, but I'm going to just make two references. They got the 22nd and the 28th pick in the, in the first round this year. You either package those if you've identified one wide receiver mm. that you believe can carry you in to the future as your number one. We Look, Aaron Rodgers signed a contract. We don't know if Aaron Rodgers is going to be there for the next three years. Let's be honest. Nobody knows that. But you do have to think about this franchise beyond Aaron Rodgers and Devontae, obviously, the hole that he leaves. Now, the other scenario is, do you believe that at 22 – you could potentially get a guy because you do have a Hall of Fame quarterback. And if you have a wide receiver that creates separation, can get him the football at a high clip. Do you believe that one of those guys will be available at those points? I'm going to be super interested to see what they do in this draft. And if I'm a veteran, I ain't going there because Aaron probably out. Yeah, I, I hear your point about Aaron. Uh I think Green Bay is going to add two or three receivers. Uh, I, I think you could get two mm -hmm. in the draft. The draft is loaded. There's probably 13 to 15 guys that are going to go in the first three rounds, and they have the talent to be there. So I don't see a problem in them getting a quality receiver. I think what's going to really surprise yep. people, let's take a guy like Odell Beckham Jr. He tore the ACL in the Super Bowl. The last time he rehabbed, it was at least a year before he played again. What's to say they can't draft two receivers in the draft and then maybe, let's say, around Thanksgiving, sign a guy named Odell Beckham Jr. just for the stretch run? I think you could see a scenario like that. But I think Matt LaFleur said it best. We're going to add two to three bodies in this room and make sure that we get Aaron Rodgers someone to throw the football to. And if Aaron Rodgers is who we think he is, which is one of the greatest of all time, the four-time MVP, you have to make young guys better than what they are. Look at what Joe Burrow did mm. for Jamar Chase. Yeah. Second-year quarterback mm -hmm. helping out a rookie receiver. Aaron Rodgers can do the same thing. All right, Green Bay looking to plug one and of his And to Aaron credit, he has. He has. You're right. To Bruce. Aaron's credit, he yes, has. He certainly yes, has, Wagyu. Guys. I yep, mean, Devontae yep. Adams probably being the best example. A guy whose career did not start strong in Green Bay became, again, one of the best in the league. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.